And so what we're going to show now is an example of how it works. What you see on your screen is kind of a, a video of flow of um, the session. So this is an example of a word cloud. We use this when, as people are joining, um, they type their names or how they want to play, and that populates on the screen. Looks really interactive. Then there are open-ended questions. As I was saying, um, this is something that's really useful to generate discussions or um, uh, allow people to ask questions after your discussion after your discussion, if they have anything else that they want to know. Again, it kind of flows so people can see the questions coming up on the screen. Um, we've been asked before how difficult this is to, to set up um, polling in this way, and that's something that we'll get to later in this discussion as well. Uh, you're also able to see charts. So this kind of is demonstrating frequency. You ask questions and people respond. Again, this tool is really dynamic and we find that people respond very well to seeing information populate in a flow type of way. Lastly, there is multiple choice. This is your typical quiz feature. So um, people are responding out of a certain uh, amount of questions and the answers populate on the screen. Here's another demonstration of that. And then I believe, um, so it's really useful, of course, you're able to show the correct and incorrect answers. And then at the end, a leaderboard is generated. So it will populate a winner if they've chosen to give their name. You can kind of encourage them and acknowledge them. Again, um, even as adult, even adult learners really like games, this is a great way to encourage and gamify the situation so people are excited and competitive. 